Hi, and welcome to another Spacebound video. Today we'll be considering 10 of the worst cases of plastic surgery, whether it be an obsession with injections, the attraction to constantly changing the way you look, making yourself look better, or just getting plain unlucky. Number 10, Renee Talley. Sometime in 2012, Renee wanted to be able to experience what it's like to have quote unquote big booty problems, and it turned out literally to be exactly that. Her implants soon became toxic and attached to her organs in some kind of way. Ignoring doctor's advice, rather than getting it treated, she got her implants replaced with new ones and her expectations literally took a 180. Is it on record? Good, okay. This is my implant flipping backwards. I don't think an implant's supposed to do that. It shouldn't be able to flip. Number 9. Vishal Thacker. After a difficult year in 2006, Thacker decided it was time to treat himself to a nose job, maybe hoping to improve his lifestyle by way of appearance. Unfortunately, the first visit led to an infection in his nasal cavity leading to repeat appointments that kept going bad. Finally, after the 21st surgery, his nose had been cut off and a straw has been inserted to make sure he could at least breathe. Poor guy. And after a divorce. Oh, I hate looking at myself. These are his before pictures. Two little selfish for once. This is what 22 surgeries have done to Thacker. This is not fair and nobody, nobody should suffer what I had to. The first surgery was in 2006, but afterwards his breathing became a problem. There were seven surgeries done on your face in 53 days time frame. In two th it hurts two things. First thing, it stretches the scar. It reminds me what is on my face. That takes away the reason to smile. I've been Number 8. Hang Miyoko. Obsessed with looking to stay young, 48-year-old Miyoko would repeatedly visit cosmetic surgeons to get whatever treatment she desired until they would refuse to continue seeing her. Still unsatisfied with how she looked, Miyoko injected cooking oil into her own face and it wasn't until things started going wrong that she sought the help of surgeons and doctors. After infection spread, doctors had removed more than 250 grams of cooking oil and other substances from her face, neck, and other regions of her upper body. Ah, oh, that is so gross. <laughs> その苦しみを語る映像に韓国中が衝撃を受けヘギョンの手術費に当ててほしいと寄付が集まったそれは顎や首 Number 7, Regine Narainsing. In 2005, Regine desperately wanted to change up her look, so much so that she'd rather than saving up for a proper surgeon she couldn't afford yet, she went to a back alley surgeon for just $3,000. This is a prime example of why patience is literally a virtue. She wished to have injections in her cheeks, lips, hips, and chin, but the illegal surgeon did perform the surgeries using substances such as Fix-A-Flat, Superglue, mineral oil, and a couple of things that pretty much became almost lethal. Now, Luckily, a group of surgeons removed these substances before they really did any harm and managed to fix her up. Hi, Rashid here. Well, it's been a few months since the story of my botched cosmetic injections by O'Neill Ron Morris, aka Duchess, went global. Supposedly, Duchess was concocting a mixture of cement, fix-a-flat, and mineral oil, and she was injecting it in people. Number 6, April Brown. From a young age, April always felt unappealing to men and herself for a lack of a lower bottom. Feeling so, a client of hers from her work offered to do a back alley injection at her home for a cheap price. Obviously excited, she said yes. She was scheduled at four different injections, but before the second time, she felt something was odd when the woman would leave her house in the middle of her own injection. So she requested a stop, which luckily for her saved her life. Now, she may have lost her butt and become a quadruple amputee, but... She would be dead otherwise. The buttocks started to get hard. That was the first sign. The second sign was discoloration. That was the second sign. The third sign was itching. And then came the biggest problem of all was the pain. How bad bad was that pain? 
That pain, I always say, was like a toothache, um, labor pains, and throw in a migraine. Well, actually, when I arrived at the hospital and I kind of heard them say, oh, oh my God, we can't find a blood pressure, it's really low, and she has like 24 hours to live. And because I had been living in pain for so long, actually, it was a relief for me. I was like, oh, wow, at least I won't be in, in pain anymore. Number five, Monique Allen. Monique, originally born male, has around 100 unregulated plastic surgeries and over 200 procedures in total since being 22. This led to her becoming disfigured and disabled with more than 12 liters of plastic having to be removed from her entire body. Never being fully satisfied with her appearance, she has spent more than a total of $100,000 throughout this entire process. Monique Allen is one of the most surgically enhanced people on the planet undergoing an estimated 200 cosmetic procedures. I definitely went off the deep end. I think I've had over 200 surgeries, and I regret it because it's ruined my body. Despite leaving her with an extreme appearance and ongoing health issues, she still feels there's more work to be done. Monique from La Habra, California, has shelled out hundreds of thousands of dollars over the years, striving for the body she craves. I was definitely obsessed. I pushed my obsession to the limit. I think it was an addiction, just like drugs or alcohol is an addiction. I've had my lips done maybe 20 times. I had my breasts done nine times. My hips done eight times. My ass done 10 times. There's probably many, many I can't even remember. However, there is one surgery she certainly doesn't regret. As Monique was born a boy called Johnny, before undergoing gender reassignment surgery in the 70s. My reassignment surgery, it was very important to me, and thank God we live in an age where science can give you that, if that's what you truly want and need. Number four, Joseph Swain. At the time, Swain was dealing with something called diverticulitis, which, in short, causes discomfort in bowel movements. Usually what doctors will do about this is install a temporary bag for feces to lie in. After, surgeons will remove the bag and reattach his colon, but they accidentally stapled it to his bladder. Because of this, Swain literally dealt with dick farts for two weeks. Yes, I did say dick farts, and he had to deal with this until doctors corrected this mistake, but dick farts, just imagine. Oh god. Number three, Jocelyn Wildenstein. Passionate about hunting, she met her now ex-husband, ex, ex Wildenstein, at a shooting range. We're mentioning this as he wanted Jocelyn to look more cat-like because he has a weird thing for large felines. Yeah, I know. Following their divorce, it was revealed that all surgeries totaled to more than $4 million. Could have saved a lot of money if you just literally would have bought a latex cat woman suit, but nope, gotta go spend $4 million, I guess. Number two, Christina Ray. Withholding somewhat of an obsession with fictional characters like Jessica Rabbit, Christina wanted to have injections to make her lips resemble those of Jessica's. Unfortunately, no one really told her when to stop injecting her lips, and even so, she kind of grew obsessed with the procedures. Now, holding the world record for the largest lips, with every surgery costing around $60 and admitting them to hurting somewhat, Christina claims that she doesn't plan on stopping anytime soon. <laughs> and finally, number one, Pete Burns. Even after doing this list, I don't exactly understand the appealing side of getting multiple surgeries, but Pete would disagree completely. First beginning with a simple nose job from the earnings he got with his band Dead or Alive, Pete soon became obsessed. Constantly changing his face around because he gets bored of his own look, Pete repeatedly goes back and forth changing his facial features, botched or not. Sometimes you're just unlucky, and it was fixed. If you can fix it, if it goes wrong, if you can fix it, I don't see it as anything, any big drama. And can I look up for me? The nose was fixed and Burns has continued to alter his appearance with makeup, tattoos, hundreds of injections. 
and surgery. I'd rather go through two hours of pain and then have 18 months of self-satisfaction and walk around thinking, if only, if only, but I haven't got the courage. I see it as an art form. I see myself as my own clay, and I'm re I, I was remodelling it. Do this. I want you to... Ah! <laughs> because it paralyses your face and you go like Betty Davis after the stroke. And so where do you think this desire, where do you think this sort of drive came to? It's been in me since early childhood, when I was getting bottles of Dylon shoe dye and pouring them over my head to make my hair green. But in 2000, a near fatal decision. A lip implant that would change his face forever, that would take Pete Burns to the verge of death. The surgeon, Dr. Maurizio Vile. And I developed rashes and stuff around the mouth from it, and he, he'd just say, oh, I'll put some steroids in, the rashes will go, and then I developed lumps, and he'd say, that's a deposit of the product. What I'll do is put more product around it and bury it, so he just kept injecting me and injecting me. After four years, crisis point. I woke up after doing a song with the Scissor Sisters, and my lip was at least 18 inches away from my face, the lower lip. It was huge, like this big, just swollen, like a ubangi. But when you wake up and your Adam's apple has come out here further than your jaw and one side of your face is so swollen you can't open your eye and there's yellow discharge, not just leaking, squirting with a hiss, it would squirt from my face. It was like one of the worst science fiction or horror movies you could ever see. And with all that being said and done, that concludes 10 worst cases of plastic surgery gone wrong. If you've enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for better content to come in the future. Also, don't forget to check out a couple other videos that I've done in the past that are pretty awesome. They're going to be on screen right now with annotations to them. And other than that, have yourself a great day.